are being shattered in Georgia. The, men, the momentum did not stop today either. Thanks for being with us. I'm Joy Lim Nacrin. Georgia set a record today for most ballots cast on the first Saturday of early voting. More than 102,000 ballots were cast. The total for early votes so far in Georgia is over 1 million. With just over two weeks to go until the election, Vice President Kamala Harris back in Atlanta tonight. She took the stage inside Lakewood Amphitheater just hours ago. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live there tonight. And Doug, really, this is the final push for support, right? Absolutely. 17 days to go as of right now. And she was joined on stage tonight by Atlanta native and musician Usher, as well as a few other big names in politics. Kamala Harris told the crowd she was running as the underdog here in the critical swing state of Georgia. But she said, make no mistake, on election night, she plans to win. Vice President Kamala Harris. Introduced by a first-time voter and with under 20 days to go until election time, the vice president made a fervent but not quite a final push for support as over a million Georgians have already cast their ballot. And we are the underdog and we are running as the underdog. But make no mistake, we will win. Harris will be back next week campaigning with former President and First Lady Michelle and Barack Obama in Atlanta again. It'll come one day after former President Donald Trump holds a rally of his own in Gwinnett County. On Saturday, Harris talked about her fiscal plan, which she refers to as an opportunity economy. So that every American has the opportunity to own a home, to build wealth, to start a business. The plan includes tax cuts for middle class families, higher deductions for new businesses, and addressing a housing issue especially pervasive in Atlanta. Taking on those corporate landlords who are unfairly buying up properties and increasing rental prices. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens, who's made affordable housing the cornerstone of his administration, says it was refreshing to hear. That sounds really good to me to go after them because it's plaguing our communities, and I haven't heard any other candidate ever talk about that. Ryan Wilson, CEO of The Gathering Spot in Atlanta, helped introduce the vice president. He said for business owners like him, especially black entrepreneurs, he sees Harris's policies as something he wishes he would have had when he was first starting out. I'm a business owner that's been now a decade in business. Many of the things that she's discussing putting on the table would have made a difference for me. And Vice President Harris also highlighted the story of Georgia woman Amber Thurman, who died after being denied access to abortion care because of Georgia's six-week ban. Her family was sitting in the front row as the crowd chanted her name tonight. From Lakewood Amphitheater in Atlanta, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.